guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back at the R&R Cave, the R&R Homestead, and we have some exciting news coming from Toyota. Now, I know some great people over at Toyota, Zach and Corey, they really love Rady's Rides and they wanna get us this information first because they know that the people that watch, you guys, all of you, want this information first. So what we're talking about is not a totally new car per se, but there's a new trim in the lineup for the Toyota Corolla, for the 2021 Corolla called the Apex. Now think about this, Apex. If you look it up in Webster's Dictionary, you'll probably find a couple different definitions. The one that I'm interested in because of course I like on throttle reviews is the apex of a turn. The apex of, the, of a turn is that perfect sweet spot when you're on that line in a turn and you take the fastest route that you could possibly take. Now, what's great is that that name being added to the Corolla name means that we now have a Toyota Corolla that is going to handle and perform like no Corolla to this particular date. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's let the cat out of the bag, let's all make the magic happen. Let's see this 2021 Corolla Apex. All right, there it is, right off the bat, front and center. Love how aggressive the front end of this 2021 Corolla Apex is. Now remember, for 2020, the Corolla already got a refresh, which gave it some great look. This is taking it to a new level. You're gonna get full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and LED fog lamps. And what's great about that is at night, it's gonna give you a crisp, clear view down the road, especially if the road is twisty so that you could hit your apex. Now, staring at the front there, you're gonna notice some changes. That bezel area where the fog lamps are, that is unique to the apex. Also, the bronze accent treatment. I'm digging it. It helps break up the sea of gloss black, and you'll notice the additional front lip splitter there. These bodywork pieces that are added, like the side sill extensions there down the side of the vehicle, have been tested in a wind tunnel. So it's gonna give you that extra aerodynamic efficiency. The one thing I can't tell from this particular video clip is whether there's any functionality to the area around the fog lamp. If there's not, then that's gonna be a zonk. But the good news is that open mouth grill has a lot of functionality to help flow air into the radiators. I love on the Apex how you're gonna have all the badges blacked out. So it's not like they just give you a blacked out badge that says Apex, the Toyota badging is blacked out. Really loving those fog lamps, very, very sexy. How often can you use the adjective sexy when talking about a fog lamp, but definitely spot on the money. It has just enough to separate it from the rest of the Corolla pack. And I've always liked the aggressive look of the headlights, the way that they integrate nicely into the front fascia. Going down the side of the vehicle, you'll notice new wheels, special wheels unique to this. Now, if you're, if you're wondering, well, Joe, is this a special edition? Is it limited? They're gonna limit it to just 6,000 units countrywide. And with those wheels, they're not forged aluminum wheels, but they're, they are cast, but they're using that new process, this free flow, uh, flow process to design them. 18 inch wheel, they are lighter though than your standard wheel, 2.2 pounds less each quarter corner of the car, which is gonna help save that rotating mass and increase your handling. Now, besides that, the car sits on coilovers that drop the height of the Corolla about an inch. And then you're also gonna get thicker anti-roll bars. What does an anti-roll bar do, do? It stops the sway of the car left or right. So this Corolla is gonna handle like no other Corolla before. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm hearing these things. Is this a TRD Corolla? No. And there's good news and there's bad news about that. The bad news is this isn't a TRD Corolla. The good news is Toyota says that they saved those letters, TRD, Toyota Racing Development, for specific versions. And that means that a TRD version is going to be coming very, very soon down the road. So that's really, really good news. When it also comes to good news, choice. Choice is a great thing. With this Corolla Apex, you can get a six-speed manual transmission with the automatic rev match downshifting, or you can still get a CVT with it, whichever way you wanna go. The wheels are great. I love 
the nice gloss black split spoke design with the Toyota badge in the center. You could see how that side sill matches up perfectly with the way the front splitter wraps around. Now that rear trunk spoiler is an optional piece. I recommend just going all in. If you're gonna go to Apex, get the trunk lid spoiler. It's actually been, like I said, tested with the rest of the bodywork. Down below, very, very aggressive diffuser. I'm not digging the fake vent design, so I am gonna zonk that, but one thing I'm definitely not gonna zonk that is probably gonna shock you that is on this vehicle, you actually have a catback exhaust. Catback exhaust with that single outlet, and it's got a custom tip specific to the Apex. So not only are you gonna get a little deeper sound, but you're gonna get a good looking exhaust coming out of that rear diffuser. I guess my zonk for the exhaust, it would have been nice if there was two exhaust pipes, but I'm glad that they went all in and did a catback exhaust. Really love the LED lighting on the taillights and that black trim, not only the Toyota logo, but also the trim there, there's the Apex name, very, very clear. The color really pops nicely. And then having that rear diffuser is a nice touch as well, because it is gonna help with that whole aerodynamic package. Now, also on top of this, you're gonna get specially tuned shock absorbers. So what this means is a lot of times when you change the coilovers, when you add thicker anti-roll bars, the ride might get a little stiffer. It's gonna be a little stiffer, but they've done things to actually help give a better ride, not just in the twisty bits, but also going down the road. It's got a blacked out roof. You know how I feel about those. It's nice to just have the whole roof blacked out. You can have your sunroof, so you could let your hair flow in the wind as you're going through your favorite turns or doing a track day or doing an autocross event. But I think that this is a great middle ground of a vehicle. It's not a full TRD version. We know that there's a turbocharged Corolla coming soon down the road. I think if you're ready to, to jump on something that's a little bit more sporty, definitely gonna have some nice fine touches and they're only making 6,000 of them. This really could be that perfect Corolla for you. Now on the interior, you're gonna get some special apex touches. They're gonna bring some of that bronze styling to the interior. And then for the driver, you are getting an eight-way adjustable power seat. Now horsepower, since this isn't a TRD version and, and they didn't intend for it to be, you're still working with 169 horsepower, 151 pound-feet of torque, and like I said, six-speed manual, or CVT. The good news on the CVT, it is a simulated 10 speed. So the way that the ECU has been tuned, the transmission has been tuned, everything else, it's meant to mimic a 10 speed automatic transmission. If you're on the fence of going the six speed, I say jump on it. If you wanna learn how to drive a manual, this car is perfect for that. The clutch is so feather light. It's got a great pickup point. The six speed has a nice uh, shifting action to it. Plus you have that automatic rev match downshifting. So what that means is when you say go from sixth gear to fourth gear, it's automatically gonna blip the throttle and make everything a nice smooth transition. Now the even better news is guess what? We are gonna get this car to drive very, very soon and I'll be able to really showcase all these fine touches and how it's the total complete package of the car. There's gonna be special colors, my advice is go with this silver gray color. I think it fits it to a T. You do have blacked out mirror caps, which is great touch, especially with the blacked out roof. And notice how that bronze trim is not just on the front, but follows down the side. And I really, really like the way that side sill extension has a kick up at the rear tires to just give it a nice flow all the way down. I think it would have been a lot, little nicer to maybe drop it an inch and a half. There's still a bit of gap there. But overall though, I think it's gonna make for a nice balanced car. And a lot of times here on Ready's Rides, I know we all like to see the on throttle responses when we're in a 500, 600, 700 horsepower car. This car is gonna be a ton of fun on a twisty road. Light, nimble, and with just the right amount of horsepower, you're still gonna get those great MPGs. You're looking at like 29 MPGs in the city. This isn't a hybrid. And like I said, that great look. I think this car going down the road, even though there's other Corollas around you, this one's gonna obviously stand out. And it, they did it in a tasteful way where they didn't go overboard too much. And that 
can be a challenge. Is this a direct competitor to a Civic Si? No. Is this a direct competitor to a Volkswagen GTI? No. But what this does do is that if you wanted a Corolla, but yet you wanted that extra sport, but you don't want to go full GTI horsepower wise, this really knocks it out of the park. But if you do, that's going to be coming as well. So it's one of those things where nice to see Toyota trying to make as many possible trims to fit as many different personalities and lifestyles. And I think they have one on their hands where it is going to have that sporty side, but it's not going to be too out of control um, with the way the styling can be, especially when you look at something like a, a Honda Civic Si, that styling uh, is almost borderline quirkiness, too quirky to it, to where this really has a nice, clean, but sporty shape to it. But if these are the types of things that you like to see on Randy's Rides, where we have these virtual unveils and I'm bringing you that newest information, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content and bringing you this stuff here on Radies Rides, hit the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Remember, we have the On Throttle shirt and the No Zonk shirt. And then we got to give it up to the Sauce Boss, my wonderful wife, Lori. She knows the recipe. The reason why she's the Sauce Boss, she knows the secret recipe to success. And she knows the recipe on how to set up one heck of a production studio here so that we can do these virtual unveils. So thank you, Lori. Show her some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.